Hello, and welcome to the Stand Up to Cancer 2025 Telethon. This video will show you how to use the Fundraise Up virtual terminal to take donations during the Telethon broadcast. You will receive from your organization a link to the virtual terminal, along with a set of, user, a set of credentials, including a username and a password. Please note that you cannot reset or change the password or username. If for some reason you forget your password or your credentials do not work, please do not use the forgot password button here on the login screen as it will not work. Instead, contact uh, your organization for uh, credentials or uh, password assistance. Once you've entered your credentials, click the login button and it will take you over to the virtual terminal. This is the virtual terminal. There are three different parts to it. The first part is the script. The call script is incorporated into the virtual terminal right here in each of the orange boxes. Simply read the contents of the orange boxes as you go through the call. The second part are the input boxes. You have both radio buttons and fill in the blank boxes for inputting information you receive from the caller. And then the third part are the additional notes over here that can uh, provide you with additional information for uh, donor support. The call flow is very simple. The caller calls in, simply read the script and take down their information. Thank you for calling the Stand Up to Cancer donation line. This is Tony. To ensure proper handling and quality assurance, this call will be recorded. Would you like to make, a recurring, make this a recurring monthly donation? Most people will be making a one-time donation. That is the default. You can leave it there. If they do want to make it a recurring monthly donation, simply change it to monthly. How much would you like to donate? There is a donation minimum of $5. So let's say that this person wants to donate $100. We will always leave this for a now donation. This is not going to be scheduled or uh, monthly. We're going to leave this as now. So you can skip this box here. Then we get down to the caller's information under supporter. May I have your first name? They'll give you the first name. Make sure that you repeat their name back to them so that you have got the spelling correct. And then we're going to say so that we can send you a receipt. May I have your email address, please? They will either give you an email address or they won't. If they do give you an email address, make sure that you put it here in the box and do not um, make up an email address, please. Um, if they choose not to give you an email address, that's fine. This is completely optional. Just come down to this box and say the receipt will be mailed to the address you provide. This may take four to six weeks. If they do give you an email address, however, they will receive the receipt for their donation immediately upon completion of the call. Then we come down to this. So that we can contact you for donation support and share updates from Stand Up to Cancer, may I have your phone number? This is optional as well. You can give them, they can give you the phone number or not. If they choose not to, that's fine. Simply move on. Can I confirm that your billing address is in the United States? One thing that is different from uh, previous years is that this year we are only handling calls from the United States, not Canada. Anybody that is calling from outside of the United States, we will refer to donor support. They will not be making donations through the virtual terminal on broadcast date through our calls. Then we will skip down to, may I have your credit card billing address? Again, please make sure that you repeat back to them the address. You will notice that it will start to uh, search for the address. And then once you find it, you can autofill with it. Once we've got their address and confirm that with them, um, we come down to the marketing communication. You'll notice that being on our mailing list is yes by default. Please do not change this and please do not bring it up with the caller. Simply leave this as it is unless they specifically state they do not want to be on our mailing list. If they say, I'll give you my email address, but I don't really want to be on your mailing list, that's fine. We can come down here and we can uncheck this. But please leave it as the default of checked unless they specifically mention it. Then we come down to our payment method. We can um, enter the credit card number. Please make sure that you repeat the credit card number back to um, the caller. And I'm going to demonstrate here with a fake credit card to show you how this works. 
we will get the credit card number and repeat that back. We'll get the expiration date and repeat that back. And then we will come down and we will say, can I get the three digit CVC number on the back of your card if it's a Visa, a MasterCard or Discover? If it is an American Express, can I get the four digit CVC code on the front of your card? And you'll enter that right here. And then once we've gotten all of those, we will come down to the email portion. Um, do they want an email receipt for this donation? If they have given you an email address, this will appear down here and you'll have the option to click on it. If they did not give you an email address, you will not have this option down here. It will simply be mailed to them. And then you will say, thank you for your donation. I'm going to process that now. And you'll come over and you'll click the make donation button. If there are any errors, like for example, I have an error here in my email address, it will take you back up to fix that error. If everything is complete, it will go to the donation processing screen and you will see that it will start processing the donation, validating the credit card information and validating the address. Once the donation is complete, you will get this screen and it will show $100 US donation. Here is the confirmation number that you can give to the caller. And once they are finished with this, you will thank them for their donation. Ask them if there's anything else that you can do to assist them. And if they say no, then we will hang up and end the call. Thank you for your donation to stand up to cancer. Once the call is ended, click the new donation button and it will take you over to uh, a new form so that you can start over again.